You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Nashville After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Nashville After Show. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Tonight. Hey guys, welcome to After Buzz TV for our after show Nashville. It is season two, episode nine. This one is called I'm Tired of Pretending. We're so happy to be back since we've had a little break for Thanksgiving and we missed it, but we got our fill of Nashville tonight. Yes. Uh, I'm your host, JJ Jurgens, and tonight I'm joined with. I'm Chloe West, subbing in, so thank you guys so much for having Yay. me tonight. Hi you guys, Whitney Lane. Hey, hey, Violet Canyon. And we have a very special guest from the show tonight. Sitting on that AfterBuzz couch. <laughs> Derek Krantz. Yeah, but. my name is Derek Krantz. Hi. How <laughs> <laughs> you play? Brent McKinney on the there show. There we go. Woo we're going to get all the dirt, you yes. guys. Don't yeah. you worry. so excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so tonight we're going to talk about Lamar and Tandy. Mm -hmm. We're going to touch on Deacon and Teddy and also a little bit on Juliet's tour and all the drama. So yes. let's start off diving into the Lamar and Tandy situation. Girlfriend's crazy. She should have never done that in the first place. Huh? She shouldn't have. I guarantee, and you will know, but I guarantee that he did not act, have his wife killed. And now she's going to be like, oops, I just went against the family. And she, mm, she's dumb. I don't like yeah. her. So you don't, so you believe her dad? Mm -hmm. <gasps> I do. I think I she, jumped, she jumped to the conclusion way too quickly. Like, why just mm -hmm. do that without even asking your father? Like, at least have a conversation about mm -hmm. it. No, because what if he had her killed? She, she has to be not. careful. <laughs> <laughs> he had his wife killed. I don't think so. I don't know. I'm on her side. I have to tell, I agree with you on this one. I don't think he did it either. I think he's evil, but I don't think he. I don't think he'd stoop that low. I think that's too easy for Lamar. Like it's like, oh, of course he did it. Mm -hmm. Like we assume, like he's kind of a dirtbag. Mm -hmm. But really, she put him in jail for no reason. Unless they, she starts believing him, and then it ends up that he did kill her. Derek, what do you Which think? I do you have <laughs> the dirt on this? Oh, no. I mean, Can you tell us anything? I don't know what's happening with me from one episode to another, so <laughs> I don't know what's happening in that storyline, which I've never, like, you know, I've never had a scene with either Judith or, um, or Powers. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I mean, I think uh, one thing is for sure, it's ABC, so it's like, uh, he probably didn't. Mm. Probably didn't. <laughs> kill his wife mm -hmm. um i think it's just supposed to i think it's supposed to create drama there i think it's supposed to be she like you said she you know kind of jumped the shark as it is and uh came to a conclusion too quickly and it's now the entire family's kind of suffering and he's sort of paying for all of his deeds mm -hmm. uh, past deeds in one sort of you know fell swoop and it's just kind of it's sort of shakespearean uh tragedy that it happened by the hand of his daughter yeah, mm -hmm. and it hurt yeah. his other daughter who was going to use his money right, too. Right, exactly. Yes. So yeah. it's all Tandy's fault. And when she tells her sister Tandy, what Tandy. happened, I think there's going to be a little tiff between the two. Just a little one. Something's right? going to hit the fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'd be mad. It's like, this is uh, this is my livelihood here. Mm -hmm. I was trying yeah. to get out of this label. You put her dad in prison, and like basically she turned on the whole family. She thought maybe she was just turning on her dad, but no going to affect them all. Yeah, she couldn't wait. Like, sorry, she couldn't wait like an extra month or something to or do this. Or have a conversation. I don't get yeah. I think that's going to be <laughs> the cliffhanger of the whole season Ooh. is when she tells her sister mm. and then it all, everyone will be like, oh God, what's going to happen? <laughs> For sure. Yeah. I think it's going to might build a little sooner just because I thought as he was leaving the courtroom, oh, I was yes. like, oh, he knows. He, he knows, knows that she didn't show him. Um, and, and he definitely knows. It, yeah, then he was talking he to. He quoted Proverbs yeah. and saying, mm -hmm like 
You know, basically, like, when you're not the one that did it, you'll be there, like, supporting. Yeah. But if you're hiding something, then why aren't you showing up? He knows. Y'all, yeah. I have a theory. What oh, is it? Yes. What is it? And my theory is as good as anybody else because I'm not a writer on the show. <laughs> I think Tandy killed her mom. No, <laughs> shut up. No. <laughs> Could you imagine if that was, like, a what? twist? That would be great, that though. That would be That'd a crazy thing. twist. <laughs> Then nobody would be liking Tandy. Get <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. Then she could die, be the one that dies next week. I think, oh, actually, I right. think we that is who that. dies. We have to save it. <gasps> yeah, She's we'll save it. Yeah, we'll yeah, save yeah. it to predictions. We have but to. Right. Come on, Just jump I'm Come sorry. On. Just say, y'all. They got me all fired up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's true. I think he knows now. We'll see what happens with that next week. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's just trying to save herself right now, let's be honest. Yeah. True. And, and, and she's doing a pretty good job of, uh, I don't know how she's, uh, you know, not just broken down to Raina as she, you know, confronted her yeah. in the kitchen. And she, she still kept up the lie. Can we talk about what does Tandy do now, though, that her dad, like, didn't she work for her dad? Like, how does she make money? Yeah, like. Well, she obviously got a haircut and yes. a new color. She's working and, at the strip club, let's be honest. No, I think she's, you know, I think when it finally does blow up between her and her sister, something's going to be like. Um, are you just like living with me and like keeping me company and now I'm gonna get another guy <laughs> yeah. to move in and you're out of here. Wait, didn't she take like a, her share of the company though? Yeah, so she's just so she's off like, that. yeah, she's but chilling. Then, she's chilling. <laughs> Girlfriend's doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Interesting. All right, well, let's move on off of them, and let's get into our favorite topic around here. Some little Deacon talk. Yes. <laughs> Sexy mm. man. We know. Sorry, we talk lots about Deacon. <laughs> I, love, I love Deacon, man. I love Chip. Up. Chip's awesome, yeah, let's man. Let's actually talk to us about you. You were giving rave reviews as we were watching. Yeah, I mean, I just look at the I look at the guys who, um, who've been on the show, have been acting for a while and doing it for a while. Like, um, I mean, Powers has been acting forever, and he's been in so many projects that like I would kill to be in, like Deadwood and Chip. Mm. Uh, you know, Chip's a, an amazing musician, but he also kind of. I guess had a break in comedy, and he did Whose Line Is It Anyways, and Air Close has been around forever, and I just look at those guys, and it's like, man, they have killer careers, and Chip especially, man, I, I just watch him, and I'm like, dude, if I had a career like him, I'd be super proud, and he has a great family, and he's just a, he's an awesome actor, he's just a badass actor, and he's a, he's a wonderful musician, and you can just see, like, his scenes are so potent, and so, mm, I don't know, they're just, uh, he brings a realness to everything that he does that I, I really respect. I have so much respect for him as a man as an, uh, and as an actor. No, well, you definitely see yeah. it. He always has, the, has those good, like, looks when you need yeah. them. Or He's like, definitely a man. I mean, yes, man. a man. Deacon Honey. is. <laughs> yeah. It's a man. But we were kind of talking while we were watching, too, just the scene when he sings with Maddie tonight. Yeah. It's mm. like he's just so powerful not really doing anything. Right. He just, like, you can see on his face that mm -hmm. he's just so proud of her, so, like, overwhelmed by the moment to be up there, but mm -hmm. he does everything so subtly that but it's also so like fun to watch. walking on eggshells just a little yeah. bit because mm -hmm. he doesn't know how, I mean, he didn't expect to get up there, mm -hmm. that she was going to call him out, and then and he knows Teddy and Rain are sitting mm -hmm. there. Like, it's a fine line because mm -hmm. he just did find out about it. He wants a relationship with her, but it's like, how how fast can you really move with this? Mm -hmm. right. And, and obviously, <laughs> can't be moving too fast or Teddy's going to get in your way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about that little altercation. <laughs> First of all, Teddy is just, he has always been jealous of everything Deacon. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you going to do? Your wife, the entire time she was married with you, wanted to be yeah, with her yes. first love. Like, he's known that his whole life. So why is he trying to control? Like, think about your daughter, not yourself. It's annoying. Yeah. He bothers me I so bad. <laughs> see, I see Teddy's side a little bit at the beginning. You know, like, he was trying to stand up for himself and be a man. But, yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, when he pulls Deacon out of the festival, you're just like, come Girl, on. It's so childish. And yeah. after everything he's done with Peggy, it's like, seriously, you think you have any room to talk about Deacon right now? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and his rant when he was going off you know, or telling, you know, Peggy what... That, that um, right. she is his Deacon's real daughter, and he's just like he was never there for the birthdays for the obviously. Like, well, yeah, we're like, well, you lied to him for years, or he would have been and would have been a part of that. So he just he's got a completely false like sense of his. He's pretty selfish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very selfish. He what got do you that think? Way quickly. What do you think of Teddy and 
yeah, all I, I this. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty par for the course when it comes to politicians. He's acting. <laughs> true, very true. Yeah. All about him. Yeah. I guess he's always kind of been a politician. I mean, he's been in a family where he was really never in control. You mm -hmm. know, I don't know. He's just like always had to be there and like say the right thing and oh, do the right sure. thing. Oh, for sure. Look at that move he made at the end of the episode where he makes a, a random call and is like, "Hey, he's not going to be able to make the festival yeah. spot." It's mm -hmm. like, what a political move. Yeah, mm -hmm. Instead of, like, you know, taking it straight to him. But, I mean, that's like... Because um, he's afraid of it. He's also operating from a place of, I, I think, a, a place of fear. I think yes. that, yeah. like you said, he's always, you know, um, Teddy's character has always been sort of, even though he's been the husband and the father, he's always been second fiddle mm -hmm. to, to Deacon because Deacon is the creative, um, he's what I call the talent crush. It's Raina's talent crush and really... No matter how hard you try, how good of a man or a father or a husband you are, you're n never really going to get past that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's can't. always number one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What you mm -hmm. going to do? Yeah. Always, the, yeah. He's always the passion. They have a yeah. bond yeah. that Yeah, passion outrules get, stability. Yeah. Always. Always. Sure. But I yeah, get, definitely. like, his fear. I mean, he did raise Maddie. He's a good father to mm -hmm. her. And it's good that he's trying so hard to still be that, even though he knows that he's never been her biological father. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I get it. He's just afraid he's going to lose her. But it's like, this isn't the way to do it. Right. You have to support her, not, like, secretly behind her back, take her real dad out of the concert lineup. Well, and you know she's going to find out. Girlfriend has an Duh. all access pass. She's going to be waiting for Deacon to be mm. on stage. And, and he then told she's her up. he was going to be there. So Yeah, she's going to find yeah. out and she's going to go back to her dad and then it's all going to like blow up in flames again. He's so, pushing her away mm -hmm. and he doesn't yeah. know it. <laughs> Dumb. There's so much girlfriending on this show. Girlfriend has a backstage pass. Girlfriend knows better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start being like, boyfriend <laughs> is Brent boyfriend's on top of it. Brent can definitely say that. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that about Will. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. I like it. <laughs> Let's talk just quickly about how the awkward moment when Peggy greeted Raina at that. Uh, Peggy! <laughs> what are you doing? She's such a bunny boiler. Like, she is the weirdest <laughs> lady alive. A bunny? Wait, can you explain a That's bunny boiler? Just kind of call her that from the beginning. I don't even know how to explain it. She's just, it's pathetic. It's sad. <laughs> from the beginning, we just thought she was crazy, and she, she had crazy is. eyes, and, and, and she hasn't disappointed <laughs> us. I mean, eyes. she got pig's she blood crazy. last episode, you know? Like, yeah. She's, she's so so disconnected from Try what is going on. Like, what are you doing? But so brilliant. I mean, True. to play True. that, that's pretty like, great. Because that's not who she is in real life. It couldn't right. be further. She's so super chill. She's Kimberly so yeah. chill. And it's like. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, she's yeah. a good actress because we exactly. sure don't like her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she's made us really hate her. <laughs> but it is great because she gives she us just those like moments like it. that. We're like, on, I know. She's just sitting on the bench. She's like, oh. I just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's like you know exactly what you're doing. What an idiot, though. We've always called Teddy an idiot. He, he is. is. He's he dumb. He really like, is. You don't, like, how? I still can't get over that you don't actually go find out if there's a real baby. You don't, like, yeah. foolish. He really is. <laughs> I can't wait till she has to tell him. Because it's just it's in her and Peggy's way with him, it's just going to be, it'll probably be, like, at dinner, like, at a big state dinner. And they're yes. just sitting there, the and she's like, by the way, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> and, Never then he, was. and then he's like, okay, we're getting a divorce. Like, I bet that's how it's going to go down. Oh, I bet he'll stay married to her. <laughs> he I, I, I kind of hope so. I, I like I, them together. He needs someone, though. Yeah. You know? They need each other. I don't know, but oh. can't we talk about how she greeted you? Raina? know who I would go ahead and let <laughs> him be with is Deacon's girl. Yes, yes. please. No, today. I Make like it her. Happen. Put those them together. No. I like her. I do not. And they would be nice and boring and, and perfect yeah. together. <laughs> She's not boring. She's just solid She's and awful. good for a deacon. <laughs> Talk about She's, no passion. <laughs> yeah. It's that couple right there. It's like yeah, she's his like, mom or something. It's just oh. awkward. Oh. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> like, who do you want Deacon to be with? Raina? No. no. Duh, girlfriend. No. Come on. Yes. They, hello. Okay. Girlfriend. <laughs> Listen, boyfriend. But for um, real, you can't, no. you can't ignore the Deacon and Raina love. No, it's, it has to happen. I'm not, yeah. no. I don't know. I like Raina with, uh, what's the big country Luke. superstar? Luke. Uh, where was he, by the way? Yeah, where was he this episode? I missed, missed him. him. It's okay. He's on his He'll ranch shooting some They couldn't cans. afford him for this episode. Yeah. <laughs> like old Luke Wheeler. 
But no, but real quick, we do have to talk about Raina and Peggy because I was like, what is this girl so doing? So funny. Who does that? And why didn't Raina yeah. make more of She's like a great. stink? That Raina was great. Yeah. She's like, oh, because okay. I would have been like, who do you think? What are you doing? Yes. Grab the face. I mean, this is the same woman that showed up wearing the wedding ring on her, you know, oh, on the God, necklace. Yeah. And now right. she goes and kisses her on the cheek. She's like, so hey, clueless. Yeah. I mean, but right now, I mean, first of all, she tried to kill herself. So that that starts it off. <laughs> then, yeah, it's like, let's keep this a secret that we're engaged, but let me wear that on a necklace yeah. where someone's going to see it. Your whole family is going to be. And yeah. that she's pregnant, and that's mm-hmm. what, like, Raina's, I think she's just like this poor thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, poor girl. We yeah, can't even argue about Raina's this. Raina's all bless her heart. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Girl. <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah, at this point, she's probably just like, good luck, Teddy. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's like, good, good riddance. Raina, that's exactly. <laughs> and also, it's her daughter's show, so she probably doesn't yeah, want to make us, yeah. you know, she's yeah. like thinking about Maddie. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. She is a good mom. So in she's been a good yeah. mom. Yeah. yeah, she's been a good mom. She's a really good she mom. She sits back and she listens and she takes it all in. I appreciate her. Yeah. I would let Raina yeah. be my mom. She'd mm-hmm. be a good mom. No, no offense, mom. But <laughs> and yeah, she like tried you. to calmly, uh, like she didn't pick sides. She tried to sit both yeah. of the boys down and have a little discussion with their behavior about their behavior. Yeah. Come on, that's Coach's so wife like, right there. That's Coach's <laughs> wife. Right <laughs> nice yeah. She's bringing it back home to Nashville. <laughs> I like it. She always gets some good husbands. Yeah, she does. She, she right? does. She really does. Lucky lady. And boyfriends. I yeah. mean, let's be honest. She's making her way around that. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> so, she's having some fun. I can't wait till they all find out about each other. That's going to be a fun episode. Small town after all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All right, well, speaking about everybody finding out about things, if you guys want to uh, find out, oh, that wasn't really a great lead in. I'm just trying to say, if I you want to add some more comments and find out more about our discussions here, we'd love for you to go onto iTunes and rate and comment and join the conversations we have here. Chime in on things that we're talking about and let us know things that you guys want to talk about. So we'd love to hear from you. I thought you were going to start talking about finding out about. I thought, you know, yeah, who. that's what I was well, like, let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's do Please. it. Please. Go oh, we're starting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, let's talk about Juliet's tour then. You know, mm. Scarlett, she's just not having a good time, you guys. No. She's having a rough Jeez. time, that girl. Okay, does Scarlett ever have a good time, though? <laughs> like, even when Raina gets her on tour, she can't be happy. She can't celebrate. Mm. She's just a grump and is like, oh, but I don't know if I can. It's like, <laughs> should I get off the pot? Excuse she's, my language, yeah. but she's like, what are you doing? She's reverting back to that, like, weak mm-hmm. yeah. Scarlett, which I I was like really liking her more this season. I was like, For first of all, I can second. finally understand her because mm-hmm. that was taking some time. Oh my then, god! Yeah. <laughs> then, but now I mean, I liked her when she was like, you know, she was having fun, and she's like, whatever. And now she's like that weak. Like you see her sitting on the bed, like holding her knees in her yeah. pajamas. I'm like, no, just have fun. I don't know how. I don't know. She bothers me. What does Brent mm-hmm. think of her? Of Scarlet? Um. Brent, my character, mm-hmm. uh, she's a tough sell because, yeah, she's lacking confidence all over the place. Because you got mad at her a few episodes yeah, ago on the red s- carpet. Yeah, you see her, mm-hmm. yeah, you see her in glimpses um, having, these, like, having a lot of strength while she's performing and stuff, but you really just, you're itching for her to really own mm-hmm. herself. And, and I think the contrast is between the stadium tours and stuff like the Bluebird, you really see her at home with an intimate crowd. And she struggles with, uh, with communicating to a large people. I think that she's like, you know, the reason why she was so comfortable with Gunner is there's this sort of, there's just an intimacy and when they perform together. And, you know, I, th- I think not all musicians and all performers are stadium performers. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that she's still trying to find her own voice. And so, like, if I was marketing her, which I am on the show, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I mean, I think that as much as you, like, Edge Hill, our label, wants to push her towards a bigger market to make more money. But if I was really, like, going to nurture her as an artist, I'd say she needs to come up, like, through more singer-songwriter type of things, you know? And, like, she'll build her confidence that way. You look at a lot of artists like Regina Spector and... Um, I, I'm I'm losing right now. Um, Ingrid other, Michaelson. Just a lot of like country and folk artists who kind of come up through smaller venues and stuff like that. And sometimes artists like who who don't have that persona that they can put on, uh, they deserve that and they need mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Do and you I think, think Raina's gonna drop her from her album? No, the because label. I th- I think Raina is uh, Raina's label, especially is an artist's label, mm-hmm. and I think Edge Hill is the contrast to that, where it's a it's a, a machine, 
mm -hmm. you know, that's interested in commercial stuff like that. And so. I don't even think she wants that, though. No, and that's the, that's mm -hmm. the, you mean Scarlet or Rainbow? Yeah, I don't yeah. think, like, no, even no, no, if no. you did nurture her, like, you know, through the small things, I don't think she'd ever be a stadium mm -hmm. performer. And that's okay, isn't yeah. it? I mean, mm -hmm. like, how many, I like uh, that. all of us like artists who are, who are like that anyways. And they yeah. get, ra they get radio play too, mm -hmm. but they don't sell out, you know, staples and stuff like that. And that's okay. Yeah. You know? But like when we that. saw yeah. her um, go back on stage, I forgot what city they were in. Was it last week, a couple of weeks ago? Mm. Um, she completely owned the stage. Oh, yeah. And she was amazing. And you're like, yeah, she finally gets it. She has a grip on it. Mm -hmm. And then she's like in a little ball. like Crying to her mom because exactly. she doesn't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So it's like she feels pressured, obviously. Yeah. And that's what she tells Avery, her new boyfriend. <laughs> it's weird. He's boyfriend? like the like, shoulder to lean on <laughs> yeah. now. Oh, Juliet, I like Scarlett. Him. Uh, Not a fan. He's <gasps> he's growing on me mm. this season. He's better this season. He, I'm I'm actually yeah. hating him more and more. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Chloe. You're like the odd person out. They've they've kind of like adjusted and maybe taken on a lot of their <laughs> their own same views. And she's like the one who's like. It's I okay. Like I him. normally I like am on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you watch The Voice, they're all like, I hated her, and I'm like, she was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we want to have the different opinions. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. absolutely. I like him and I like that he really likes Scarlett and I like does he? but does he? Yes. What? Are you kidding? <laughs> like, really? Does, I don't does. know. I, Why would you mm. say that? If he really cared for her, he wouldn't he's so manipulative. Everything no, he does no. and everything he says is like calculated to how he's gonna get Scarlett to not like Gunner anymore. Because he knows there's still some yeah. feeling there. And even him what? at the end sending her to the room to get, oh, where is she? Oh, go get her. <gasps> okay. Obviously, they're together if Gunner and her are missing. Like Whoa. Avery does. <gasps> totally, totally agree with you. What? I, if he had really made the turn, because last season he was completely selfish and he mm -hmm. dumped her just because he was all about his career. He's still selfish. But yeah, and if I and at the beginning they wanted us to think that he really had changed. No, even and when, if he had, yeah, he wouldn't do exactly what you right. said. If so he really you, loved her, whoa. he wouldn't be setting her up to go see this terrible heartbreak of her ex-fiance. And, and he knows like how weak she is exactly. after he just had that conversation with her. And even um, in the more in the beginnings, um, when, what what's her name? Jay Lee's character's name? Zoe. Zoe was there and um, she, he was working with Gunner and he's like, oh, let's invite her, let's put a girl's mm -hmm. voice. Obviously he wants her and Gunner to get close so he can move away from Scarlet and he can have Scarlet all to himself. Everything, oh, he just, not Does like he this really man. like Scarlet? I don't understand why it's wrong for him to want Scarlet to not like Gunnar. Because it's, well, well do you want her to feel that way, though? Why don't no, you like, that do is it in mean. a different way? Yeah, yeah. that is me. Because mean. it's the friend, too. Yeah, but I nearly, he, he's, like, pushing her away from the friend, too. So. That's true. And That's if awful. she loves you, then out of manipulation, like, mm, is that really, yeah. you know, the way you want a relationship? <laughs> I've never girlfriend. thought about him like this, and I'm going to have to go back and watch all yes. the episodes from this season and see him <laughs> in this video. So do you think he's, like, stealing what he learned from... Hayden's character and like using it <laughs> there. I think they're the perfect yes. match. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> that's what's going to be my prediction. Do you, oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Do you think that that's what Hayden's thinking, or what's her yes, character Juliet. Juliet's Juliet. thinking when it's like the person that is the best version of you mm -hmm. that she's thinking I of think him? So. <gasps> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, poor Scarlett. She's about to get brokenhearted again. I don't know that she's that invested know. this time. Yeah, I don't think. I think she, he's just yeah. there, and she's like, okay, mm -hmm. I have someone, you know, to confide in. And are whatever. we missing something? Yeah. Is Avery like really a, a decent dude, or yeah. are, does I'm he like, have these different layers? Yeah, whose side are you on? This is what I love. I'm just gonna sit here and say, <laughs> I know more than y'all. Yeah, oh. tell us, <laughs> tell us, but please. I mean, somebody's got to be right because we've got two different opinions. Yeah, in here. <laughs> it's just so. I, I think it's funny. I, I absolutely forgot about last season and how he Was took awful. such <laughs> such a selfish track. Yeah, and and really did a lot of things because. I'm only thinking in context of this season, mm -hmm. and it's so funny for me to hear you guys talk about how you think he's being manipulative, and I'm just like, oh man, <laughs> I don't see him being manipulative at all. But even now, when I'm thinking, even when I'm thinking ahead now, I'm like, oh, y'all are kind of, y'all are, mm. you guys are really, in, mm. you guys are really in tune. <laughs> yes, but we like this national. I don't stuff. think his, I don't <laughs> think his, um, I don't think, I don't think his character is a bad guy. I don't either. No. I think he's still learning, and I don't think he's like. 
overtly being manipulative. Like mm-hmm. last season, it's like, okay, we right, see what yeah. you're doing. This he's time, no Layla or Juliet. I don't, yeah, yeah. True, I don't think true. he realizes how much yeah. it could hurt someone else. I think mm-hmm. he's like, you know, but still, it's wrong, and he knows what he's doing would hurt someone. You he's, know, it's yeah. just little things like that. Yeah. He's thinking like one step ahead. He's not, he's not thinking so mm-hmm. many that oh, she's gonna get hurt in the process. Yeah. And I do think he is at least genuine in that his feelings are real for her. Like he cares about yeah. her. But he he's cares just going about, her, about yeah. it wrong. <laughs> do you guys are you guys ever annoyed that on the show all the women are so manipulative and so smart? And I do like it to a point, but like then the men like. I'm like, okay, I want to see the guys be evil. I'm not just, like, the dad. <laughs> but I'm like, come on, boys. Like, they can't be, like, so dumb all the time, right? Like, is that just me? <laughs> I think I think Oliver's character is pretty f- manipulative. Yeah, I think yeah, he has. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But he's, but they still make him so likable. I wanted to ask That's you something just about, Oliver. about <laughs> that. And maybe you can't, if this is tipping storyline, just ignore the question. But I was wondering, because I earlier in the season, we thought that... Um, Oliver, Jeff might use you to kind of out Will mm-hmm. and like ruin his career and sabotage oh, really? him and thing. Yeah. Like, it, it's, so oh, just yeah. as your we character, that is that ever? Sure. Yeah, like, would you, are you like aligned with Jeff or do you think that, like, do you ever, what do you think? Do you think that's a possibility? Does Brent care more about Will or does he care more about like his yeah. job, basically? The funny yeah. thing is, is like, I, I think, um, I think that I do what Jeff wants me to do because he's my boss. But if you really look at my interactions with all the artists, I th- almost feel like I almost feel like my heart's more in a place um, in Rainus camp of of sort of like really shepherding artists in the right place. And that's always sort of been the way that they've had my character. My character's always been really warm. Mm-hmm. And even mm-hmm. though you know I have to kind of like. Be like, Will, come on, man. Pull it together and quit getting drunk and quit, like, doing all this stupid stuff. I'm still, at the end of the day, I'm still, like, being a good friend. I've saved his ass, like, a bunch of times. And, like, Scarlet, like, I'm, I'm even really nice to Scarlet when she's not stepping up and stuff like that. And Layla, I have every reason to hate Layla, and I'm helping her out, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. all mm-hmm. the time. So I think that, um, I mean, if I was going to write it myself, which I won't, and I have to, like, apologize because in an interview I, sa- I use the word authorship. <laughs> at one point, and what I meant to say was ownership, and one of the writers has been making fun of me for that uh, the entire time. He was like, we had that up on our board for a while, so just so you know. Uh, um, uh, no, but it's, you know, if I was going to, like, just my, my whole character and, and where I come from, I think that I don't think I would do something to ruin someone's career from a really, um, you know, a bad place. You're like the good cop to Will's, or to uh, Jeff's, Jeff's bad, bad cop. cop. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's always been the dynamic that they've tried to Build, I so. like that. But I also yeah. think Brent really cares about Will, and he's oh, waiting sure. until he comes around. I mean, I, which I like because I'm like, at some point, Will's gonna have to come around. Yeah, right? when are you guys gonna make out? <laughs> <laughs> what well, was, let's get to the chase yeah, here. Yeah, let's get to what everybody really wants to know. Let's did, talk about could, the makeup. Go ahead. No, I was, uh, no, go ahead. Did you guys want to? You guys want to come back around to that? Uh, uh? Sure, if you're going to talk more about that, sure. go ahead. Sure. No, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, was, now. I'm I was just going to say, did, did you guys <laughs> feel like there's been just an escalation? A little yeah, bit? I think it's coming. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I was going to ask, because for a second, I mean, you were having a relationship with the other guy. I can't remember that was for guys. a second. Yeah, second, but, I hope. but we thought <laughs> we saw you almost being like heartbroken because it looked like Will wasn't going to stand up for you at, at that right. Texas bar. Mm-hmm. But then he goes and, and then he Yeah, but does he actually know that Will did that, though? Oh, yeah, I wanted to know that, too. Yeah. I don't um, know that he knows. Yeah, we'll have to wait and find out. Uh, good. But yeah, I mean, going to get in trouble because because he now say, he's left thinking he didn't stand up for him. In this so. episode, did he? Um, did your character come in and say you're getting drunk and getting into bar fights? Yeah, yeah. I I, I, heard I called him out on a bunch of trouble that he's been causing. I'm like, hey, just so you know. I'm gonna be here to make sure you don't screw up. Anymore. Right. So maybe he does know, or no, he doesn't does know he about not? That. Okay. Well, regardless. That's coming at some point. <laughs> well, and you had an inside info for us tonight saying that uh, Will's stunts were all done by the actor tonight when he fell off the bar. Yeah, that's true. And he also did all of his own stunt fight. Uh, all the actors did their own stunt fighting in that scene where he beat the crap out of the guys who were hating on me. Oh, wow. That's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We have a great stunt coordinator. Real. Yeah, his name mm-hmm. is um, 
oh god what is it it's like uh, oh my god why can't i remember now it's like pinky or tiny or something oh like that god. and he's this huge <laughs> buff dude um he's awesome he's great he knows what he's doing yeah, yeah he does yeah they look great do you think I feel like what's going to happen is Will's going to get just really drunk and then you're going to like come into the bar and save him and then he's going to be like drunk and sloppy My on you. Really? Girl. I hope not. I really yeah. hope that he's like he sees how much Brent's doing for him and how I mean he's like being a really nice person to him after how he's treated yeah. him and like he obviously yeah. ca- he's showing that he cares. I think Will's eventually going to be like, "You know what?" <laughs> I really just want to be with this dude. I I, I hope so, I hope so too. I hope after now that Layla's gone and told Ugh, TM, she's you know, world. exposed that he's really going to be worst. sick of her and say I don't even need to put up this front anymore and be around her and hopefully but come he, back to you. He wants to be a huge country star. That's though. what I was going to say. How yeah. do y'all think that so works I in the country music yeah. scene? I don't think either they're yeah. going to keep it like oh, yeah. way it down doesn't. low or it's just not going to happen. <gasps> what if Layla finds and, out? Ooh. Oh, that uh, or what <laughs> if Will dies? No. Don't say that. <gasps> he can't saying. die. You never know. We're oh like, oh God. boy, oh boy. <laughs> Give us something. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> tell us. But you kind of saw Will talk about it a little bit to Juliet when they were at the the bar. He was like, yeah, I don't care about that hashtag. So yeah. he's starting yeah. to come around a little bit Maybe. more. We'll see yeah. what he what he does. I like it though. I'm ready for him to just like yeah. be who he is. If that's we'll possible, see. I right. did Let's really tell you. love Top place in the South. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. That's right, and in the country music scene. Yeah, yeah exactly. you guys know of any openly gay country music stars? No, there's didn't none. Didn't think so. There's only one black artist too. There's Although a, there is a two. rapper. <laughs> I think two black. Artists. There's a there is a few. There's no a few. Darius Rucker, and then the guy that was with uh, Big and Rich, who's the rapper. Well, there's more. They just may not yeah. be on the CMAs. Yeah. Well, right. Yeah. <laughs> No, so on country yeah, radio. Sure. On country we'll radio. We'll see what happens. I'm excited for that. Okay. Well, what else? Uh, Layla? Uh, we didn't talk about Layla and Juliet's yeah, little feud. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I loved the Juliet move of her switching it and then grabbing the mic. <laughs> knowing what Layla's doing, being I like, I love that Juliet's always two steps ahead of Layla. Because it, she, it was probably her like yeah, years ago. It's totally. probably the same person. Mm-hmm. She's like exactly. fighting with herself. She's yeah. not thinking it's too smart, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just feel like playing this like game and being mean, how's that going to... You got kill her with kindness. Let your, She like, tried in the elevator. She did. She Let's tried. Uh, she's just too... She's too much. I don't know. Layla's obviously, like, she's manipulative. You see it in her face. Yeah. I mean, she's mm-hmm. obviously calling and, like, saying, <laughs> like, selling these stories or whatever. But I don't know. Do you really care that much? Like, are you, is she that threatened by this young girl? Why can't she just be proud of who she is and start, I don't know. It bothers Cause me. Because it's what? Juliet. <laughs> yeah, and I think, well, her going over, you know, under a set, mm-hmm. you know. She, well, she doesn't show respect, it's true. But at yeah. some point, she's going to have to grow up. She can't keep doing that forever. Yeah. She should have just kicked her off the tour. Yeah. Well, she was pretty bold, as we said, coming in and talking when she was talking with Charlie, and she gets real up close to him, you know, mm-hmm. right in front of her and trying to kind of. So sorry about get, your divorce. Yeah. Not. I'm 19. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh. She's the worst. She is the worst. There's a lot of annoying. And I never really thought about that. Like, there are. The girls are very manipulative and annoying. Mm-hmm. All they should all, them. like, get in a circle and. Is there like one Scarlet, I guess, but then she's like too weak. She's so annoying. There's no like in between. Yeah, Zoe. Zoe. Uh, Yeah, that's true. Except you don't really see her personality that much. I feel like this episode was the first episode where you see her like kind of get a little angry Mm -hmm. and frustrated. Um, But at the same time, she's always just the shoulder to cry on. Mm -hmm. You know, she's always just giving. And I want to see her sort of like take the lead herself. Well, she did with Gunner. (laughs) <laughs> we did not appreciate that. I'm just <laughs> well, I think she handled it poorly. I don't very mind much, them necessarily as much together. I still want Scarlett and Gunner to at least duet because <laughs> they're the best. Yeah. But I think <laughs> that's girl code right there. Yeah. Don't step on your best friend like that mm. and get caught. She should have told her way before she even yeah. came mm-hmm. to visit on the tour. I agree. Yeah, and you, you, she knew the road trip was going to be a bad idea, so she should have just had the conversation before she even got in. Yep. In the car. But how do you tell Scarlett? I mean, all Scarlett does, honestly, does Scarlett even listen to Zoe? <laughs> Never. She just, like, complains and complains and cries to her. And, like, Zoe has to, like, bring her back up. 
And like, so he doesn't even get to tell her anything like, oh, about by her life. <laughs> by the way, I have a life too. I, there's something going on with me. Like she just, that doesn't happen. That's not their dynamic. So I kind of don't feel bad for Scarlett. <laughs> she annoys the crap out of me. So <laughs> I she like annoys me too. But uh, uh, this episode, I, I yeah, she was a little annoying, <laughs> but I, I love her. I like her hair. <laughs> Y'all know who the most manipulative character is? Who? Maddie. Maddie. Uh, <laughs> she's doing that whole deacon against dad thing. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I do. What like if Maddie. she turned out to be the most manipulative? <laughs> no, she so killed. Sad. She killed her she grandmother. She killed her grandma. <laughs> she killed her grandma. There would be a twist. Oh my god! What if Maddie <laughs> dies? A child. What Maddie if Maddie dies? No. Dies? No. no she's that's not. Not. She's not on the that, list. I cannot. She's not on the list. Please. Don't worry. She's not on the list. You mean the list? Play this. We'll do it at on during predictions. You guys. Stop ruining it, Chloe. No, I'm. <laughs> All right, was that it from the episode? You guys, what anything well, else? Anybody? We didn't talk about Charlie and Juliet. Oh, because we didn't. Let's that talk about them quickly. Yes. Yes. Done, right. so. Yeah. What? I'm sad about this. I actually love these two together. Me too. I like them too. Yeah, because talk about just a weirdo love triangle with <laughs> his wife and Ju I was like, girlfriend. Wait, why are we back. getting back to his wife? That's what I don't want to know about. Well, like, so they're getting a divorce, right? And he puts that on the TV. Right, but she made out with. Juliet. I mean, like, come on. I want to like just left it. Yeah, that. that was so weird. Yeah, I don't believe when Juliet does that whole right, like, it's not action. love. Like, you really do love Olivia. I don't think so. I think yeah. all the oh. things that he's told her are true about his I wife. Believe I believe him. But she's I mean, crazy. I totally agree. I felt that like that conversation was. I didn't see any of that. You know, I, I didn't see him looking like he loved his wife at those events. I saw mm -hmm. him pretty much watching her the entire time and <laughs> wanting to be with her. So. Boo, I don't know. I don't, I don't get why they made such a big deal about him bringing out the bad in her. I never, like, noticed that. I never thought mm -hmm. it was a problem. I always thought he was so good for her. Well, except when the first time, okay, the wife's birthday, and then he, like, invites <laughs> her to, like... Well, that's just Juliet being Juliet. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, I guess... I mean, he did instigate that. True. And the firing, but she didn't stop it. <laughs> true. The firing of the guy was a you know pervert. What, it yeah. wasn't like it wasn't like a decent yeah. guy. It's, it I wasn't like, like a Charlie. Big deal. I did too. I, like him I always too. will at stud. I thought he was pretty. <laughs> I thought he was pretty solid and like made her think about things mm -hmm. in a good in a business sense. You know exactly. That's why I hope he doesn't get back with his wife. Plus, they're just a hot couple. They look good they together. Are. He's definitely going to be in the next episode though because that's the big home wrecker. Oh, uh, it's the home record, and it's the big uh, festival. Oh yeah! Mm. Oh, that's right. So he'll be there. I don't know. Do you think it's gonna backfire on her no. for breaking up with him? No. Oh, for breaking know. up with him? From maybe him or from? I the, think I thought Olivia was gonna really like ruin mm -hmm. Juliet's career if she could get her hands on him. She's really oh, not the one oh. in control of it. But I mean, like he owns what eight hundred radio stations. <gasps> At uh, some point, could that come back yeah. around and like? I don't, know. I don't think Charlie would do that to her. I really don't. Yeah, I think yeah, he's, I, I think he would fight to like get her back. But oh. then the whole homeworker thing wouldn't. Isn't he going to go back to his wife? Who knows? I don't. We don't know anything. She says he should, and we know really it's because she likes Avery. Yeah, she oh realized boy. who was mm -hmm. her match. This is going to get crazy. Shit's <laughs> getting well, cry. It's yes. getting cray cray. All right. Well, let's spend some more time talking to our wonderful guests here. <laughs> so how, what? tell us how you got the call for Nashville, how the process of you yeah. being on the show. Um, oh, that's actually an interesting thing. It's kind of a, actually kind of a backdoor thing. I, um, uh. <laughs> I wasn't going to say <laughs> it. I was holding <laughs> on. Okay. <laughs> We went there. How appropriate. We went there. <laughs> I made that sound out loud because uh -huh. I started to say no pun intended and stopped myself. I was just like looking out of the corner of my eye. Gonna... What else do you want to tell us? Um, yeah, tell us more. I actually, I, I got that role and it was the last episode of last season and it was set to be that episode and the potential to recur. Mm. And you know they write episode to episode, so they never really know. Like you honestly like don't know. You have a and we had a six month hiatus in between that. So right. I shot the first episode, and then I'm sitting there with like twiddling my thumbs. I mean, obviously going on other auditions, doing other shows, working on other stuff, but didn't know. You know, it's like they could choose to not pick up that storyline. They decide that they don't want 
Will's character to have that element to him. Mm -hmm. They could make it totally something, it could be a business thing. That's why it's weird. You know what I mean? So, um, but then they gave me the call and found out that I was coming back for at least two more episodes. And really, like, at least what the supervising producer and some of the showrunners told me were that they really needed to see if our dynamic worked together. Because, you know, we didn't spend that much time on screen together. Mm -hmm. And so after a couple episodes, they really felt like it was working and they liked where the storyline was going. And it's an issue that I don't think has been... I mean, think about it. We just talked about it. In the country music scene, we all know that there is stuff that goes on that's not to people's persona. Mm -hmm. right. And not just the country mm -hmm. music scene. We can talk about athletes. You can talk about anything. I'm not just talking about you know, whether you're gay or not, but there's all these other things, you know. And so they found out that it was working and it's something that they wanted to really explore and 11 episodes later. You're still. Yay. There it is. Yeah. Awesome. What do you think of Nashville? The city? Yeah. Oh, man, I love it. Well, you I went really to it. UNC, didn't you? No, I didn't. I, uh, I went to North Carolina School of the Arts for high school. The, okay, that's what I mean. High school, yeah. So, but, I mean, that's the South, so how does that compare? Yeah. Were you used to the South? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I spent middle school in texas and i spent uh high school in north carolina so, so you got i it. do love the i do love the <laughs> south um and i love all its charms and everything and it's like man i i love going out and see li seeing live music i do it all the time here in la and going there it's just like pff, forget about it it's all these new and emerging artists every night of the week i mean we go and see you know we all go out and we see live music and it's great and it's like it's it feels like the nightlife scene there, you know, feels like L.A., except a little bit more buttoned down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just like it doesn't have sort of that polish to it, and it feels really sort of homey. It really does. What's your favorite mm -hmm. place to go? Ooh, we go to Winners and Losers a it's lot. Best. I know. It's dirty, too. <laughs> it's great. It's fun and dirty. And we go to, like, when we're trying to, like, look nice or uh -huh. go out someplace cool, we're, we go to Patterson House. Or oh, yeah. We go, I mean, we go all over the place. Yeah. We go over where they, wherever they tell us to go. So you're good <laughs> friends with a lot of the other cast members then. Yeah, man. I've, I mean, I, I was telling you all that it's, it's like summer camp being there because everybody's coming from either usually New York or L.A., mostly L.A., mm -hmm. and we're all there to shoot a show. And that's it. I mean, it's not like here in L.A. you would leave set and you'd go back to your families or you'd go back to your friends and you have your own life going on here. Well, I mean, yeah, for the people who are posted up there, they have their own lives. Yeah. But most of the, I mean, I'm hanging out with, with Sam and Shaylee and Aubrey and Chris and a bunch of other people from the cast and the crew all the time. Feels so like, tell us about like that camp. gossip. <laughs> I mean, this show's about the country music scene, but what's the, like, acting scene? Like, we know there's stuff going on. Oh, I can't say anything about that. Oh, come on. Most people get along, Please. I'm sure, right? Oh, yeah. Seems like an awesome cast. I mean, honestly, like, we're really blessed to not yeah. have a whole lot of drama. You know, and I think a lot of the elements, maybe who would bring drama, just are hanging out as yeah. much or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And. And, um, I mean, if you, I mean, like, if you want to know, like, all the dirty secrets and stuff, I mean, I hook up with everybody on the show. <laughs> <laughs> now we know. Nobody's safe. You really have to <laughs> get, you really have Nobody's to get into safe. character. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just kind of like, it's, Oliver. It's, it's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you live in a hotel when you're there? Yeah, what? I do. It's oh. awesome. So that's, yeah, you like, you're it? like uh, loving yeah. it. Yeah, some people hate it. I love it because I don't have to clean up that's after myself. That's true. That would I be nice. It. How long do you go for at a time? Depends on the episode. We shoot an episode usually over two weeks so like 14 days wow. um mm -hmm. and if i'm there and i have a couple of scenes and they can shoot them back to back days sometimes i fly in and i'm there for two days and then i'm out and sometimes it just so happens with the schedule because of locations and stuff i'll shoot one scene then another scene four days later mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. another scene four days later so i'm there for the extent of the episode just chilling you know yeah. it's great it, mm -hmm. it feels like vacation when i'm there it's <laughs> wonderful it's That's great awesome. yeah. so how many yeah. people who are on the tv show are actually musicians and performers a lot of them are the, a lot of the people who actually i mean i can't think of somebody who sings on the show who's not actually a singer or a musician mm -hmm. All so do they ever sing live i mean i know it's record yeah really oh you mean on the show on the i show. know they don't on the show but i mean sometimes like oh, in rehearsals and stuff like that oh yeah, yeah yeah everybody's singing along with their with their playback track i mean everything's recorded mm -hmm. beforehand um but then yeah everybody usually sings along to give like the performance and stuff for sure Cool. Yeah, they right. should do a live episode where they right. sing that live. That would be so awesome. That'd Les be, Mis style. That would be pretty, <laughs> that'd be pretty dope, actually. I mean, yeah. we have a lot of really, like, 
again, on Chip. I mean, I, we did this benefit concert, mm -hmm. and he sang uh, a cover of Little Wing by Jimi Hendrix, and I, I cried mm -hmm. my eyes out. Aww. It was brilliant. I mean, it's like he's, he's so good. Were you uh, a fan of country music before you got into this? Uh, <laughs> Is he a fan of country music Are now? you now That's a fan a of country music? <laughs> Just say yes. Okay. <laughs> the answer is actually yes. Okay. But um, I like a certain type of country music. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, um, I, I like... I like folk rock, okay. and you know I like like uh, that Americana resurgence. Like Avid like Brothers. That. Yes, uh, and Mumford and Sons, mm. and of Monsters and Men, and I've loved Johnny Cash for a long time. Mm. Who Waylon Jennings, and uh, I got to see Willie Nelson live for ah, the first time yeah. in Nashville. It was amazing. Wow. And my parents listened to Garth Brooks and Alan Jackson <laughs> and all the and How Brooks and Dunn know. and all that. So I knew all those guys growing up. I have to admit, like when I went to the CMAs, I didn't know a lot of the performers. Mm. That being said. Man, those guys are awesome performers. <laughs> Is They're it great. weird for like your y'all's fake music scene to ma like mix with the actual like CMAs? Like, how did they feel about you guys? Are they excited? I mean, I know they do promos and stuff, mm -hmm. being like, "What's gonna happen next?" Yeah. You know, you see <laughs> Kelly Pickler and them, but. It's got to be a little weird for them because don't you guys think when the show first started, it was very much Faith Hill, Taylor Swift, yes. like mm -hmm. their storyline because there is that sort of underlying thing. And I mean, Katy Perry in the press lately has been like nodding to like there are bad girls in the music, like mean girls in the music industry. Mm -hmm. And I, I personally think she's talking about Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez because she was defending Miley being like Miley's a really sweet girl and she's not one of the mean girls. So I feel like there is this sort of like some truth to it, which I think is why Nashville wasn't so popular when it first came out, and then they kind of changed it a little bit, like, five seasons into the first, or five episodes into the first season. So how was it, like, actually at the CMAs, being a part of a TV show that is sort of, like, showing some light on something that's very squeaky clean? Yeah, I, no, I, I think it's, actually, I, I think that people appreciate it. I think it's kind of like what, I, I mean, it's hard to compare the two. But Entourage had a similar thing mm, with Hollywood. Yes. You know what I mean? And Hollywood is reflected upon a lot more in the TV and film industry. But I think that Nashville is doing a similar thing where it feels like you're getting a peek inside the industry and sort of seeing the gross underbelly of it a little bit. Um, and it's fun because we have a lot of country music stars who come onto the show. Mm -hmm. And it, it's the reason mm -hmm. why people sit around and talk about the show like y'all are doing. Mm -hmm. Or our viewers love the show. because it does feel real. Mm -hmm. it, feels like, yeah. it feels like Scarlett can get on stage with with um, with Brad Paisley, and it makes totally. sense. It's, and you yeah. go, oh, these two people are from the same world. Right. And the cool thing is, I think the, the most awesome thing here is the people behind the scene. The, the common denominator here are the songwriters. Mm. The songwriters mm. for our show, where they're finding original material for our show, are the same songwriters, or potentially the same songwriters, writing for Brad Paisley, writing for... Mm -hmm. um, like Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan, all these things, you know. A lot of those big artists also write, but... They also find songs from these young songwriters, and that's where that's the real country music. That's right cool. There. Yeah. That's that's where country music is really made is those songwriters. I love that it's actually shot in Nashville too. I think that that makes oh, a huge the, difference. The city yeah. is such a huge character in the show, and it wouldn't be the same if they shot it here in LA. I don't care if you're getting exteriors from Nashville. <laughs> There's something to be said about especially people who've been to Nashville. You can go, oh, that's a real place. Yeah. That's a real bar. Like the bluebird is real. It's you know it's um. It definitely they really fought for that and it's good that they did I agree That's with awesome. you on your comment about the music too and the, and the songwriters and I also think the show has done a great job of striking a balance between showing performance and having story yes. like it's it, it's not awkward it blends right yeah. in very well and it, and it could potentially be a very awkward yes. thing to just all of a sudden break out into tune all the time <laughs> you know but I think they they really set it up well and the songs they do are great well the thing that they haven't done and I'm waiting for them to do is where <laughs> someone's like having a conversation and they're like and somebody starts singing like, hey, you, you know, like <laughs> right. I'm waiting for my character to start singing at some point and then just be like, oh, all right, now it's turned into a full on musical. Uh, do you sing? I do. I, I oh. have a, a degree in musical theater. So Whoa. is there potential for Brent to, to sing? I did, uh, I did drunk karaoke in front of a lot of the producers, so maybe that'll happen. <laughs> yes. uh, Oliver and I have this joke, <laughs> Oliver and Will Chase and I have this joke that 
uh, Jeff and Brent moved out to Nashville because they secretly want to be backup they singers. <laughs> <laughs> so they want to be like backup singers on a t on like Raina's tour or something. So yeah. I, nice. I think the I perfect setup for it. you and Will getting back together is you can go to a bar, have a drink together, get drunk like Will likes to do, yeah. and yeah. it happens to be a karaoke bar. You get on stage, a song yeah. starts playing, and like, you guys Whoa. sing, look at each other's eyes. Are you guys eyes, watching? Are the Whoa. producers and writers watching? Yeah. Yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> That's it. Or like That's it. you could sing to him and then he just falls in love with you because he, you're singing to him. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to happen. We have so too many too. great ideas. I know. <laughs> I know, right? I know. We want more, Brent. <laughs> um, you mentioned uh, actual country artists coming on. Can you name anyone that's going to come on this um, season? Oh God, I honestly, I, I can't remember and I don't think they want me to spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Um, Our own Maria Menounos was on this yes! episode though. Thank oh you my for God. saying yes. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Extra. Yes. So awesome. yes. Yes. Giving us the deets, Mario and Maria. <laughs> <laughs> like, she should be on the couch too. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I will next say, week. just to, like, I, I don't want to like give it away because they are a lot of fun, but in the next three, four episodes, there are big, big big country stars yes. in every episode mm -hmm. and it's wow. all really fun yeah i i He's know one excited. no you don't yeah i do no you don't yeah i do it's a band <laughs> steven tyler's coming nope. to the show well, that's not who I'm thinking of. Is I know one. I was like, is he really? <laughs> no, I know one. It's a band. You can say yours because you're can not. Can I say it? It's yeah, that crown band. <laughs> Z I B died. B I died. I died a little. I know it. Oh, my gosh. I won't tell how, but I do know it. <laughs> All right. That, that was, was an, an After Buzz exclusive. <laughs> and Steven. Hell of an exclusive. Steven. <laughs> we missed that. Can I get... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did he leave the booth? Engineer. Steven left. Is Come on. It's kind of late. It started typing when I hit the button. <laughs> we, <laughs> I was like, we what? It. what? It's probably after midnight. We'll give you a little. It's little okay. Little I'm starting to sweat. I know you're excited. Girlfriend is. Girl girlfriend. Girlfriend. Boyfriend. <laughs> Well, let's talk about. Do you have any upcoming projects you're working on, or I mean, other than you're pretty pretty busy with Nashville. Yeah, right? I mean, I'm I'm busy with Nashville, but I'm also uh, I write myself, and I'm also um, I'm working on a film in January with um, a director that I've worked with before, um, a guy named Tim Pape. He's an awesome director, and we're actually trying to get uh, a couple of my friends from Nashville attached oh, to the project. Nice. Um, so you might see. Uh, us working together in another capacity. What kind and of role I, do you play in that one? Um, it actually centers around four assassins. It's a western. It's totally Ooh. different. It's super cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Wow. Um, hey, weren't you guys getting crowdfunding for that? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Is Wait. that still going on? Can we find that anywhere? Uh, both, actually, both my the projects that I'm working on that are, have been crowdfunded have been funded successfully. Nice. So they're all Congratulations. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. And then I'm also working on a pilot. It's a post-apocalyptic pilot called Apocalypse Wow. Uh, and I'm shooting that in the beginning of February, and that is a real cool project that I'm like super behind. It's a comedy sort of um, that comments on how dependent we are on technology, and the technology causes the apocalypse. <laughs> and uh, it's it's really cool. So that's a lot of fun too. Awesome. Yeah. Ah, great. Lots to look Very forward cool. to. Yeah, man. That's yeah, nice. man. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining oh, us. Oh, guys, thank you so much. It's been so much fun. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's get into real quick to let's some quick news some and gossip. Yeah, sure. After Buzz. Yeah. The main one we need to say is that Nashville got nominated for a People's Choice Yeah. yeah. So you all, all be there? Vote. Vote, Am I going to be vote. there? Yeah, you going? Uh, depends on if I'm here or if I'm shooting. Yeah. Mm. Vote for that, Bo. Hello. We want yeah. Nashville <laughs> to win. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this because E! Online today reported that someone's going to die in Nashville, and that's what we heard. Right. We heard the gunshot. So they told us, they gave us 10 people who could potentially die, and based on tweets, they, they knocked off a couple names. So don't worry, Lamar's not going anywhere, and somebody, oh, Avery's not dying. But the lat, here's, here's who it's narrowed down to. Raina, Scarlett, Juliet, Teddy, Deacon, Gunner, Tandy, Peggy, and Will. Peggy. So Peggy, let's be honest. Peggy, please, Peggy. No, Raina, no, please. no. She has to tell him that well, she's not honest. pregnant. Well, let's be honest. Raina, Juliet, they're not Deacon. Dying. They're not they're dying. Not Gunner. Dying. I'm going to no. Andy. <gasps> oh, yeah. Tandy. That's another one. <sighs> you know, I said Will earlier, you guys. Yeah. Damn. Damn. I Will's don't know. not going to die. I don't if Will so. dies, what will happen with Brent? His what little if it's heart Teddy, you guys? Well, that'd be awesome. 
No, because, <laughs> because then that's it's like the writers copping yeah. out and being like, we're not going to like have the tension. I don't think no, that's going to happen. No, it can't be, Teddy. Are you so much Tandy more. or Peggy? I think, I think yeah, Tandy will. is a I, good, I think, good okay. call, too. I think Tandy, Peggy, or Will are your top or yeah. the these Or these what if no one dies? What if it's soap opera style? They just get shot. You think they died. No, they send them to the it says, killed off. No one died. I know, dun, dun, dun. but that's just for us to tune in. Someone's not going to die. I think they're going to get sent to the hospital, and then they're going to, like, I mean, if the promo says someone will die, someone needs to die. What if Zach Brown dies? Okay, can we not go there? No. You guys, can't you see this, though? If Will died, and then they were, like, they were like finally together, and then <gasps> Like Romeo like, and Juliet! Oh. I just got goosebumps. And that's what, that's what inspires me to become a musician? Yes. Yeah. Uh, then you can take his place on the tour. tour. You. Yes! The, <laughs> you know. Just like that's just how it happens. Like that. That's how it real. Yes, that's sorry. how it happens in real life. So you know. Exactly. <laughs> um, I think the most disposable uh, character is Tandy. Yeah. I mean, at this point, but is that that's could be a cop out. Let's like get true. real. But then Lamar's really got to, you know, because she's the out. only one that knows. Or that they, she, yeah. Or maybe they kill her off and then the, she leaves it in her people, will or something, and that's yeah. how they like, figure it out. I want to know how you guys think they die. Come on, you're I just saying know. people. Well, we heard a gunshot, right? Pew, pew. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like it's pew, pew. gotta be. I mean, is it happening next episode? I hope so. I hope that was the preview. Like, I think so. <laughs> I don't know. They like I need to know now. <laughs> well, then again, I guess it's the next episode is like kind of the mid season finale, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. They a take break another break, break right? They've got to leave us with something, people. Yeah. These breaks, they kill me every time. Uh, Keep you back right. in the groove, and then. <laughs> I know. All right. So where can they can where can people find everybody at? Y'all can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Chloe West X or Monday nights on sitting right in the same chair on the Voice. <laughs> nice. Oh me. Okay. You guys can find me on Twitter at Whitney Lane Fern and on my website Whitney-Lane.com. You guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Violet Canyon K A N I A N. Oh, you can find me uh, at Derek Krantz on Twitter or Lamil Coffee in Silver Lake. That's like. Where I'm at. Uh, <laughs> are they paying Stalker, you for that? Stalkers. Yeah, I get free coffee for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's awesome. And I'm at jjjorgens.com. All right, you guys. We'll see you next week. Thanks, yeah. Derek. Thanks, Thank Derek. You so Bye, Shaylee. I'm so me. sorry. I apologize for my uh, 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 horrible act. It wasn't that bad, actually. He won't tell we us. We tried to give him <laughs> yeah. It's not bad, You'll actually. have to tell Just us, Jay. I will. We want to know. Yeah. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, see you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.